How does the CFDA help designers? Well, we are an organization of designers, so everything we do is about helping designers, and we do that uh, throughout the lifeline of a designer's career, Excellent. starting with students, emerging, pre-emerging, uh, small business, big business, iconic brands. Just before I came to this show, I was at um, something we're doing with three young designers who are recent graduates in a partnership with LifeWater, first time they're getting a chance to show during uh, Fashion Week. So uh, it can oh. be uh, mentoring, business grants, uh, educational program, uh, job opportunities, licensing opportunities. It's a whole range of uh, program and services that we help designers with uh, at any point of their career. And that's so good because so many people who are so creative don't also have the business mind to turn the creativity into money because that's what it's all about. That's what keeps the machine going. And that's true. Uh, uh, How does Fashion Week here differ from Europe? Whether it's Milan or Paris? Yeah, yeah, I mean, American fashion is the youngest of those four cities. Uh, oh. And so um, we're... Um, uh, often considered the commercial market. It's yes. really not a bad thing because that's the whole idea. Fashion is a business, so you yes. want to sell. So I'm very proud of that, but it's also a creative city. Um, we're different in, in, in the United States. Again, our organization is a organization of designers. I think it is that some of the designers now, the big names, are choosing to show abroad in Milan and New York and not on the New York Fashion Week calendar. Which designers, who? Huh? So there's been like an influx of like Not some... really. I mean, you had um, uh, Proenza School there and Rodarte choose yeah. to show in Paris, but they're showing in New York this season. So yeah. they were only gone for uh, two seasons. So really the only American designer not showing in New York is uh, Tom Brown, who yeah. is done a great job and totally. uh, very proud that he represents American Farish in Paris. Look, Fashion Weeks aren't really defined by country borders anymore. This season oh. in New York, we have Vivian Westwood, Escada, Longchamp, they're not American brands. So uh, brands are, are, are more sophisticated and using different markets uh, to support what their business strategy is. So yeah. this idea that American brands aren't showing here anymore is kind of really a, as we say uh, here about politics, a nothing burger. <laughs> <laughs> For a viewer who's watching in Idaho, how can like a designer get onto the CFDA? Well, you have to apply to be a member of the CFDA, so, uh, 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 and you can live anywhere, but you really have to be in business. You have to have established uh, retail, yeah. whether that's a, a direct-to-consumer uh, business or wholesale business, a combination. You have to have editorial or uh, exposure, whether that's Excellent. social or, or traditional media. And you have to be in business a few years, but you also have to have talent. You have to have a point of view. It's not good enough just to be someone that a blogger, a stylist, or a blogger, yeah. or knows how to has a dress cool. You really have to um, um, have a point of view and be a designer, Thank and you. and that's how you do it.